All right, so this week at SPG Texas with the kids, we're going to be working on using the top block to set up both the arm bar from Close Guard and the triangle from Close Guard. And they kind of go together well. I'm going to start off. I'm going to get a grip on the head and the elbow. We're just going to talk about getting to the top block. I'm going to take on the elbow that I'm gripping, I'm gonna take the same side leg over the top of the shoulder. This leg is gonna be behind the shoulder and I'm just gonna reclose my guard. The value of the top lock is I'm no longer so dependent on this hand to keep him down. This, you don't need to like go as hard as possible, but if I'm kind of pulling my heels towards my butt and he goes to stand up, it's hard. It's not impossible, so don't, don't say it's impossible because then the kids will all just do their damn just to get up. And they will get up, people can't get up. He can push with his arms to make it more possible. But you can see this is actually what I want. I want him to be pushing with his arms because that's what's gonna give me my arm bar. So one more time, just getting to the top lock. I'm gonna grip his head. A thought on gripping his head. It's not just holding its head, it's I wanna push his chin onto his chest. When I grab the elbow, I want my thumb, and my, my thumb up and my palm up this allows me to cinch this in nice and tight, whereas this grip is a little harder to have a real good push and it turns my elbow out. This, now my elbow can come into my body and even stick on the floor like this. So if he pushes back with his arm, it's very hard. Whereas if I were here and he pushes out, it's very easy for him to push his elbow out. Here I can put my elbow on the floor. It's very hard for him. One, two, and I'm up into the top lock. Now, like I said, this hand is relatively free. Um, from here, I am going to use this position to go to the arm bar. I'm gonna start with this leg, which is going to chop up more towards the knee. This movement, I'm crunching my body, my head and my butt are off the ground. I can keep this grip, it doesn't matter. Head and butt come off the ground, and I'm gonna use this leg to rotate me over to the side. Now I'm perpendicular. It should be easy for me to slip this leg over the top. From here, my hips raise. You'll note I have two hands on the wrist. This is a good grip for me to be right here. Hips come up. It is like, give me a second. You can use this as a descriptor for the kids. My hips coming up is this, not this. I'm not kicking him over with my legs. I'm using my legs to take my hips up into the ceiling, okay? Now, that's the top lock to the arm bar, all right? Some common mistakes you're gonna get, and it's not necessarily wrong. Cross grip and head, it's not wrong. Just the elbow that's controlled here, here, this is fine, okay? Problems when they try to go to the arm bar. They're gonna try to go leg first and end up out here, and then they'll usually like try turning this into a belly down arm bar. The belly down is fine, but it's it's a weak arm bar because he can pass very easily from there. So I'm like one, two, okay. I want to use this leg to propel my body. If they want to grab under the leg here and use this to turn them out, not a problem. They can do that too. All of those things are fine. I'm also, another thing that can help them is I'm using my shoulder to push him as well into position so I can get into my arm bar. Now, there's your arm bar. If I wanna do the triangle, this will be, it's a little forced, but usually they'll, it's more based off of the reactions of my opponent. I get my top lock. He feels the danger to his arm and he tears hard to pull that arm out. I have everything I want. I still have his head potentially. I can go under the other leg, turn, Put the ham on the neck, come up and close. You're pushing the shoulder to the center of the hamstring, okay? The deeper, the better. You can think of it as the knees coming together. I find it an easier thing to say, take his shoulder to your the center of your hamstring. This is where hams uh, come from in the grocery store. They love that joke, so. <laughs> One more here. You can be more aggressive, one, two. I could aggressively choose to stuff the arm through, but it's hard 
If he doesn't like want me to do that, he can usually resist that pretty easy. I'm usually looking for him to pull the arm out. Even maybe I'm going for the arm bar and he pulls that out. The main thing is the arm bar I was going this way, I have to change my direction and go back in the other direction to get my triangle, okay? So you can even have them play from here with the more advanced students, which is arm bar, pull, triangle, finish, right? Like just getting used to that idea of arm bar is one direction, triangle is another direction. I have to switch directions, okay? And yeah, um, start with the top lock, start with the arm bar. As the arm bar gets easier and easier, you're showing the triangle combination there at the end.